Hello everybody, it's Lucas McIntosh here and I'm back with some more Parasite Eve 2 for the PlayStation 1. I'm going to crack on exactly where I left off last time, which was in Mr. Douglas's trailer. Now, I've basically killed the burner boss, I've cleaned out dry field, there's no more monsters here yet. Um, I've even managed to get my hands on a nice little handgun which was given to me. So that's probably going to come in very very handy um, I basically brought more rifle rounds so I'm just going to move some stuff into my armor and then we're going to crack on with the next part of the game so let me see I've got a vinyl pack there uh, recovery 3 GPS right so I guess I'm ready to rock essentially let me just see if I can afford any more armor or anything I, no, actually, I don't think it's worth it, but I'll check anyway, because I know Mr. Douglas, um, it sometimes changes. No, it's still the same. Basically, the armor, yes, the armor there's good and kind of serviceable, but I need something a bit stronger, so I'm holding out till I get to the shelter, I think, because I think there's some better armor in there. So I'm going to leave the trailer now and go back to Kyle, and then we're going to head off to try to find the shelter, which I believe is through a set of mines, so yeah. And while I'm here, I want to see if I can do any more Parasite Energy. That would be an idea, actually. No, I haven't got enough um, experience points. Oh, well. However, I am all tooled up and ready to rock. So, let's do it. And there's Kyle. Yeah, and I'm ready to go. Alright, we're out of here. So yeah, I should mention that this is the second disc now, and um, I actually was very sort of hesitant about putting the disc in first because I thought you'd have to do the first disc in order to load up this second disc's data because sometimes something pops up and says, please insert disc one, please insert disc two. Um, I'm quite happy that it's actually quite a seamless process, so I thought I'd have to do some editing, but not so. So the next part of the game should load up now. And there we go. God, 2000. It seems like, oh God, nearly 20 years ago. I can remember in the 90s wishing it would be the year 2000. Thinking how different things were going to be. <laughs> but it would be a few years before things actually got um, a lot more different. Te Technology-wise, anyway. Right, and here we are. Aya and Kyle are making their way to the shelter. And Mr. Douglas is... Uh, beat up truck which still works while some NMC's look on so we're going to be heading to the mines first uh, I've got more NMC's to kill so this is going to be a bit of a challenge this bit so it's got to be done unfortunately and I will do my best because this next bit um, it's like an endurance round. Kyle gets hurt, I think, and um, these desert chasers just keep spawning. And apparently, there's how many did they say? There's, I think there's like ten of them or something, and they come in two. So it's like, is it one lot of five? All right, I just turn my phone off at the moment because I keep getting texts. So if you hear that ping, I do apologise. Right, here we go. See so straight away, we're into an action sequence. Alright, let's do this. Oh god, no good, they jumped the fence. See, the thing about this game is it does leave a lot to the imagination. You don't actually see them jump the fence. You don't see Kyle get hurt, which is a bit disappointing. You think you would find out what hurt him. Do you know what I think? I think it's groin strain, that's what I think. I think he's just playing on it. I don't think there's anything wrong with him at all. <laughs> that's what I think. Right now, I want to see if I can get rid of these desert chasers this way. There you are, you can actually do that and that's what I would recommend doing. Moving out of the way and they will fall off the edge of the cliff. But it's very tricky to do. Um, and if you get go it's instantly game over, so... Oh, come on, Kyle. I told you it was just a groin strain. He's just playing on it now. He's just like, yeah. He goes in the mine, and he leaves Aya to deal with the creatures. I'm like, who does that? Is he no chivalry left? Ridiculous. Move. Oh, okay. That didn't work. We'll try this. 
He's gone off the cliff. Move. I'm trying to get him off the cliff if I can. So I'm trying to get them both off the cliff. Move. There you go, there's one. Ah, uh, miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Move. Try and get this guy off if we can. Move. There's one. Here we go, gonna try and do the same thing. Move. Oh, sometimes they can adjust themselves, so I don't think trying to get this guy to move is probably gonna be the best thing. I might be able to get this one though. There you go, boom. Move out of the way. Nice. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert at this. This bit really sucks. Move. You know what? I'm just going to parasite you their ass now. Parasite energy their ass. I'm just going to um, heal myself using the recovery. Alright. Alright, gore me if you want, pal, but it's not going to make a difference. Oh, God, there's another one. Here we go. Move. There you go. Oh, come on, another one, really? Oh, this is BS. Move. There can't be any more, surely. Come on, that's got to be it now. That was ridiculous. Yeah, there you go, that's how you do it. So, I survived that. I'm pretty impressed with how I did, so... I've even got some rifle ammo. I've got some 9mm rounds and I've got a recovery free, so I'm very, very happy with that result. And you know what? Um, I've never really done that well before against this creature, so I must be having quite a good day today, I think. Anyway, so with the creatures taken care of, it means I can now concentrate on the mine. So let's pop in the mine. And let's see what's shaking. Kyle's kind of retreated in the mine, so I don't know how he is at the moment. Oh, there's another desert chaser, I think. Move. I tried to move, guys. I, I did actually try to move. Right. Oh, come on. No. I'm dead unless I do something. Right, it's another recovery free. I can't see what I'm doing, guys. There we are. There we go. Oh, I'm making some serious BP, put it that way. And I can heal myself as well, so let's do that. Let's head on through the mine. Right, so, I believe that there's like a couple of different uh, think paths, I think. Now, I can't remember where, which one leads me to the um, plank of wood? I need a plank of wood to get over this um, sort of chasm. The mining cart is blocking the path. Right, okay, so we'll pull the brake lever. And this actually sort of shifts the cart down. So, fantastic. Let's go down and sort it out. Alright, what's going on down here? Yes, there's a plank of wood, but a pro unfortunately, it won't let me use it yet until Aya confronts the problem where there's a huge gap she can't get past. So I have to actually see the gap in order for her to want to pick up the board. <laughs> That's just how the game works, guys. It's not like Resident Evil when it's like you pick up, uh, say, Resident Evil 2, you pick up one of the plugs as Leon, and then all of a sudden, you know, even though you've not seen the door the plugs go into, Leon's like, oh, it's just a plug, it's like a chess piece, you know. It looks like it might be useful, but he won't be able to pick it up. <laughs> it's a little bit, but he does. But in this, she, she doesn't unless she sees the problem. And here, there's more of these bunny gremlin things, so let's just get some pyrokinesis on them. Boom! Oh, and there's more of them. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, come on. We got him. Nice. That's how you do it. And I've got an item as well. What have I got? I've got some shotgun shells, which um, I never use. One thing that really annoys me about this game is the fact you can't sell items. You can buy, but you can't sell them. That would have been a really useful, um, a useful thing to do in this game. But, you know, I think it would have been useful, personally. I, even though it would have given you much, much more of an advantage. I mean, the game is kind of hard enough. It would be nice to have that. See, look at that. It tells you now there's a deep ridge, right? says, I might be able to jump across, but the bridge doesn't look too firm. So, unless she looks at that first, um, she won't go back and get the board. So, it's that's just the way the game works, really. But then again, it's sort of double standards, because it's like saying, um, in the very first section of this game, there's a bridge code, isn't there, on the, at the Acropolis. Now, I, d I don't look at the board for the code, yet the bridge code is just like... It comes up and you can type in the number, so that's a bit confusing. So, wouldn't it have made more sense if they wanted to go with this way of playing that to say that, hey, I don't have the bridge code yet. I need to find that code, even though I didn't look off the board, before tapping in the numbers. So, maybe I'm just overthinking it. But then again, I guess since the code's the same. Or maybe if they change the code every so often so it's random, a bit like Resident Evil 3. That would be pretty cool, I think. Anyway. Um, I'm going to carry on in my journey now in the mines. Now, this is the one with the plugs. Uh, speaking of plugs, I was just on about that. Like, chess plugs. Um, the plugs in, like... A room which kind of open doors open some locked doors you have to put them in a certain way and I can never remember the combination so I'm gonna have to play around with those a bit to try and find the right one see look at that that's that huge chasm there so you need to then use the oak board which is a key item I keep forgetting to do that use the board and check it out So it's laid flat across the gap. So you can cross the gap now. So that's very useful. Oh, and bats. Right, let's use some pyrokinesis. Oh, come on. I should get the first attack. That's just not fair. That wasn't half bad, actually. Item obtained. Oh, I'll take that. I think, in fact, I'll use the MP boost. And I'll just heal myself up a little bit more. Nice. Alright. Moving on up. We're moving on up. <laughs> moving on up. Nothing can stop me. Right, the gate is locked. So, this is what I was talking about. There's like a plug in this electrical circuit board that we have to use. And there's a phone, so... If you need some extra rounds, there's a box there. But I never use my handgun now since I've got my rifle. Because the rifle is, to me, the perfect weapon. Let's use the phone. Baldwin, what's wrong? An NMC pack? Are you sure? I see. Thanks for the information. Okay, I have an emergency bulletin to the hunters. Until then, explore these mines. Try to save that PI if you can. God, I'd let him rot, to be honest. He's such a wuss. Get a bit of groin strain, runs into the mine, and I've got to save his life. He should be saving mine. It just seems to be that whenever there's, like, trouble, he just runs off and you never see him. But anyway, I have to contend with this thing, and I remember what to do, to be honest. A plug is inserted here. We'll take the plug. Right, I think I put it into the second one. I don't know. Ugh. Oh. Right, let's use the plug. Right, let's turn on the turn the lever. Turn on. What am I? What am I even on about? Right, let's lower the lever. I believe this opens a gate. I'm probably I may be wrong, but I'm sure this opens the gate I need. Yeah, and then when I come back, I think I think someone's messed with it, so I have to. Um, there is another plug to collect, and then I have to kind of rework it, kind of. 
All right, let me just see if I can play around with my um, my stuff. Put a vinyl pack in there. There's a small bottle there. Invoked metabolism. Nine millimeter. Right. Okay. I don't really know how this battle's gonna go, but I've just got to do it. I run a boss battle now, and I believe it's this horse creature. I think there's it, there's either two of them, or it's the same creature but mutated. Yeah, so she's crying out for Madigan. Sorry about that, guys. Just got to turn out the lights. Just for a bit of atmosphere, really. I know you guys can't see it, but in this room, I need a bit of atmosphere. Madigan, are you there? So she's looking for Kyle. But look what's there instead. Oh, my God. Oh. It's like a Terminator version of Black Beauty or something. Oh, my God. That's what it reminds me of. Right, okay. Okay. Gonna cast a Crocious. No, missed him. I need to cast a Crocious on him first. That's the first thing I need to do. Where is he? Wait, I can't find the horse. It's disappeared. Alright, get off me. Okay, pal. Look, you had your fun. Put me down. Put me down. I got it. I got it, though. Oh, come on. I got him. I actually got him, though. Screw that. I don't care. I actually got the horse. See if I can blow him. Come on, get up, get up, get up. So that's the first form. Killed. Oh. I think, I don't know if it's another one or, or what, but another one's going to sprout up in a minute. I can never remember if it's the same one or if it's just... So there we are, I've got it. No, it's the same one. It's the same one, but mutated. I thought so. Okay. Here we go, guys. Once again. I think he's going to do the same stuff again. So, I have to be ready for it. Okay, that didn't work. No problem. Right. Necrosis. Okay, I'm going to heal myself. I just don't want to die. And I like it. This guy's getting ill. He's getting injured. He looks like he's been on a knot in the lash, to be honest. This horse thing. I got him. Not at all worried. I think I've got this one. Come on then, pal. Come on then. It's when he goes, ugh. It's when you got to move. Reminds me of Kintaro from um, Mortal Kombat 2, to be honest. I don't know why, it's just strange observation. Move. Come on then. So he's losing energy all the time. So you just gotta kind of keep playing with him basically. That's all you can do. Right, do I have Yes, that's what I was looking for. Right, necrosis again. I got him. So you do it. Come on then, pal. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get him with the with the barrel. I'm gonna get him with the barrel. I want to try and get him with the barrel if I can. Come on. Oh, 
Right, here we go. Now. Oh, come on. Let me hit him with the barrel. Not working. There you go. Seems to be having an effect. Oh, bugger off, pal. Right, I want to get him. I'm trying to hit him with the barrel. It's really annoying. Go. Got him. There you go. Yes. Boom. This is how we do it, guys. This is how we defeat a boss. Straight through. No mucking round. Kyle. I know. What a shame. But what can you do? He was sort of a jerk. <laughs> Oh my god, but still I kinda, hmm.